Hello crafters and welcome to part three of the bakery build. Now for this step I'm going to actually have this entire video sped up so I don't have to waste time. Uh, so yeah from here let's get started. Um, first things first is I have to sculpt in the actual steps. So I'm just gonna snap off a piece of my uh, foam board that has actually been miscut here. It was from another project I'm not going to use. And I'm just going to cut loosely the dimensions of what stairs I need. That looks about right. And now I'm going to just trace it back on. But instead of going all the way, I'm going to go and trim it a bit shorter, creating a step. Uh, let's say one more for good effect. So let's, I'm going to eyeball this piece. This should be good. And it is. I'm going to trim the bottom step though now. There we go. And we have the staircase ready to be put on. You know the drill from here. Add super glue. Let me make sure which way. Yep, okay. Uh, first step. Super glue. Second step. Kind of jam it in there a bit more. Super glue. Final step. Now you'll notice some of this stuff has uh, warped slightly, even between me moving it. So I'm just going to use my blade right now to simply shave off a bit of each step. Getting it more proportionate. There we go. We have staircase ready. And the next part will be to simply cut out slats for individual bricks into the stone. This is the same effect I used on some of my other ruins and it allows me to make stone walls without them actually being separate stone place pieces. And I'm gonna use the back of my blade here to uh, carefully carve in individual brick sections for the actual look of this place. Ooh, nicked myself there. Oh crap. That could be a problem. There we go. And we're starting to get a stone texture there. And then, you know, I would rinse and repeat this over and over again with the rest of it. But I'm going to cut to my time lapse now. So, see you then.